<laughs> Musicians in bars getting beer. It's the Nobby. Hey. Wait a second. Who said that? It's still the Eglinton Inn. Hey. It's Frank Soda. The Nobby. I just played here a year and a half ago, you know? Right on. And it was a pile of snow everywhere, and, and the place was packed. We were playing with, the, I think it was the Killer Dwarfs. Yeah. It was really a lot of fun. Next thing I know, they're closing the place down. we got to get this back into a rock room, you know? Wouldn't like, that be great? Just like the old days, you know? What's Did going you play on? the Nobby? Oh, of course I played the Nobby. That was You're just not like... that old? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm that old, and... You know, this was one of our, you know, one of our favorite places to play. All the bands, we loved it. We loved it here. You know, tell but, me about uh, the old Nobby days. Oh well, the the Knob Hill was just a rock room that was just always packed. People would we would just come out. You know, they, they were lined up and they had all the best bands. Well, they, they had like Max Webster days, you know, the Gardo and all that. And we and uh, just couldn't wait to get here to play. You know, because it was one of those rooms where you you got to go there and 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 prove that you're you're a hot band and. We just loved it here, you know, and it was just like uh, uh, lots of good party people. A lot of rooms like this is where bands like us cut our teeth, you know, in, yeah. in, in you know, getting our licks, getting our songs together. Yeah, and, so and that's the Knob Hill Hotel, uh, yeah. and it just recently was Rock Pile, and you're going to be yeah. at Rock Pile what, Friday? Going to be at the Rock Pile Friday, the Rock Pile West, I guess they call it, you know, yeah, yeah. Dundas there, yeah. 55, 55. Well, I'm reuniting with uh, with uh, one of my old uh, bass players, Tessa, and and uh, my old drummer Lawrence. I'm gonna get actually Terry Watkinson's coming down too. Awesome. Now, because he had a busy week, he had his uh, CD release and he had his art show this week. I, I came for that as well. You know, it was yeah. such a fun time. He's such yeah, a he's such running. a sweet man and a talented man. Ken and was it, there. It, Frank Ron Sexsmith was there. Oh yeah, that was a great great evening for 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 Terry. Sam Batulis. Yeah, yeah, tons of people. That was just just a great 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 show and uh yeah he's gonna come down maybe i'll see if he can he wants to bring his sax or he yeah. wants to sort of jump in but he didn't have time to really get anything together and like rehearsing and stuff because it was a tight time so we're just doing this for fun it's gonna be a nice yeah. reunion for us so what's your music like now? right now what i do is when i come to a place like the rock pile i kind of give it the rock stuff so yeah. I'll, I'll bring out the old rock you know like the tv you know the, the moon man you know like the uh, drunk and disorderly, all, all my old stuff like that. I throw a few new ones in here and there, but mainly I keep it like that because that's what people remember me, especially in Toronto. It's yeah. not like I had any major hits, like you know, like Jerry Doucette, Mama Let Him Play, or or, or Kim Mitchell's got buddy a lot of yours. Eh? Was Jerry a buddy? Oh yeah, Jerry. Well, I, I hang out with him in Vancouver. Like uh, he does uh, a benefit for me every year that I do for the Liver Society. He's one of the acts that that I get to do uh, with Chilliwack and yeah. Prism and, 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 awesome. and uh, yeah. So, and so you live out in, in Vancouver in, most of the time now? Yeah, well, I lived in Vancouver since uh, the late 80s, early 90s. Oh, yeah, yeah I, I've been in Vancouver, so it's, you know, I love it out there. I mean, I started there, and then I ended up here in Toronto. Weren't yeah. you born here, or you are born in Vancouver? No, I was actually born in Italy, oh, believe you? it or not. But I, I was born in Italy, but I came here and my dad was uh, uh, work, working up northern British Columbia. Yeah. And uh, it was a place where like Jim Valance grew up. It was around Terrace, Kitimat area. He grew up in Terrace. And there was a lot of musicians went through there. Like Blair Thornton from uh, Bachman Turner. Uh, Jim Valance grew up there. Howard Froze went on to play with Chilliwack and musicians like that. But when I was a teenager, I just basically grabbed my guitar and I hit the road, you know? Yeah. I played with guys like Jack, met Jack Lavin of the Powder Blues Band right. who, uh, came up from Chicago with his brother Tom, you know, before the Powder Blues Band, I was jamming with guys like that and playing up the coast. And then Thor, that big, that heavy metal singer, yeah. that big heavy metal guy, he kind of, hey, he loved our band. So he said, hey, come on down to Toronto. And that's how I ended up here in my early 20s, basically. Yeah, I, I do a, a couple of the, the new things I do is we're bluesier rock, yeah. but it's still straight ahead, pretty real straight ahead rock. Yeah. I've never really changed that. Now in, in Vancouver, I go in and I do a lot of, uh, um, uh, the, the, there's a lot of like uh, jams and sessions and stuff, and I jam a lot of a lot of different types of music there, yeah. you know, and it's fun. Like you know, I I, yeah. I, I even do a bit of a, a ragish type of stuff, and I fool around, I have fun with it. So who knows? Like you know, maybe when I do some more recording, I'll come up with different influences. But right now, it's basically hard and straight ahead. Basically, you know, have yeah. you put anything out there recently? To be honest with you, the only things that that I've done in in the last little while was uh, I, I I did uh, Thor's last album uh, in L.A. Oh yeah, uh, and and he's hard and heavy, and, yeah. and, and he's got some great producers, and uh, uh, I, I went to Europe with him a few years ago, 
and he played some pretty big festivals out there like he played the Swede Fest and a bunch of things like that so it was kind of nice to get out there and see you know like uh, uh, how, how big he was like over here he doesn't do much you know right. you know much much gig also no, Euro metal is a whole, whole yeah. new ballgame yeah there, there was no rap there was none of that uh, yeah. you know and so I, I'm sitting there like in, in Sweden and everything else and very very popular over there it was just you know he was playing with uh, uh, you know top top metal bands that were touring you know yeah so great. so so anyways when we came back and I did his last album and uh, and he's talking about maybe doing a bit of touring again Right. And I'm in the process of just, uh, I got a lot of songs in the can that, that I've been kind of sort of throwing around. Like I jammed with a lot of different musicians in Vancouver, yeah. you know. One of my friends, uh, Ray Roper, used to play in a band called Stonebolt. Uh, we get together in the studio and we hash stuff out. So I'm going to record some more of the stuff that we feel come out the best, you know. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So uh, but, who's playing with you at Rock Pile? Okay, the Rock Pile who's in your band? Is, is Tessa Kimmel. Who she came out and uh, back when I was uh, uh, touring back out west, we got a, an all-girl band called the Pop Tarts, right? And and Tessa was the bass player, and we always kept in touch. She's just a sweet, great bass player and one of the sweetest persons you're ever gonna meet, right? And uh, we always kept in touch. And she says, "Come on down and play and rock and jam and stuff." So, so I says, uh, "Anytime I get an opportunity, we'll do it." So she passed by the rock pile, and we phoned Lawrence Gretsch, who I played with before, on drums. And Any I, relation? Well, no, no. L L Lawrence Gretsch is, is just, uh, he used to be the original Platinum Blonde drummer, actually. Oh, yeah. When they were doing the tribute to the police. Oh, really? Believe it or not. Wow. You know? and, and then he, he played with the Carpet Frogs, you know. Yeah. And then he went on and, and he, he was doing, uh, uh, he, he started getting into physical fitness more of that. And so he okay. started, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, wow, brilliant. Um, and so that's your band? Yes. And so let's go back and talk a little bit about history. Tell yeah. me the tell me the wildest gig. Well, the wildest gig was when I first came to Ontario. My first introduction was playing with Thor, and he used to do a crazy wild show, right? He used to get bricks put on it on his uh, on his chest, and someone from the audience he would get to smash them, right? You know, so it was one of those wild nights. So we weren't ready for it. We uh, get up and do the show, and we're rocking as heavy metal, and he grabs somebody from the audience there in downtown, I can't remember, I think it was called the Montebello in St. Catharines, I could be wrong, right? Yeah. And all of a sudden this crazy guy from the audience comes, give me that hammer, and he started to try to actually get the hammer towards, you know, like his, his uh, you know what I mean? Oh, geez. Right, be, right in there, and he was trying to hammer there. <laughs> all of a sudden, you know, Thor jumps up, there's a big ball broke out, next thing you know, bouncers come in and, and all the room just up up in, in, in a big like like uh, uh, melee but just throwing wow. tables and stuff the big plate grass window it was it was as wide as this like all smashed through wow. the cops came out and closed everything down oh, it yeah. was just insanity it was yeah, yeah. that <laughs> that's that a thor gig, eh? yeah that's a thor gig i'll never forget that <laughs> and you another gig I, I did that then i went back to vancouver but when i when i went when i moved back to vancouver i did the odd frank soda gigs right uh -huh. And uh, we, we, this is a true story. We were playing downstairs at, at, at one of the pubs, or one of the bars, right? Downstairs, and we had a big rock show going on down there. And upstairs was a kind of a, a sort of a, a disco where they played music and whatever it is. Next thing you know, we're, we're down, there, down there playing, and the concussions are going off on my head. Boom, 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 this and this. We didn't know what was going on. The next thing you know, the police were rushing downstairs and saying, you better get out of here. There, there, there was a big... Upstairs, there were people with guns and oh knives and tables and stuff flowing, and it was almost going to filter downstairs. Yeah. And we got out of there, we barely got out of there with our lives. The yeah. whole street was, 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 you know, so I've been through a couple of those incidents. I would never like to do that again. Yeah, <laughs> those are different times. Oh, you're not kidding. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, where else did you like to play around? Uh, maybe Toronto? Or the Gaswicks was one of our favorite sure. places. You know, the, the Gaswicks, I'm still sad that it's kind of shut down. I mean, you know. I look forward to to playing the gas works, yeah. and then and then of course back in the days from the 70s and 80s, there was just lots of places to, to play. We we could tour like across you know like uh, uh, the lower Ontario area, like you know like like down around uh, between here and say even Montreal or whatever, yeah. you know, and Quebec, and then go out go out east, go up to, towards Thunder Bay, Winnipeg, and then all across Canada, and lots of lots of rooms and stuff, yeah. places to play. You could always have you know. Uh, 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 a great crowds, you know. Yeah. I mean, uh, nowadays I, I don't see many bands really doing that kind of circuits. It's right. kind of a different thing now, you know. 
first time I saw you was Nags Head North. Yeah, Nags Head North. Yeah, I love that. Nags Head North. Some of the names are escaping me now. Jumping on the tables. Oh, yeah. Drunk and disorderly. And, and drinking beer. And drinking beer. Wow, well, I just like, you gotta get, you know, I get thirsty, so yeah, still. Yeah. Awesome. Well, yeah. the name of the show, Musicians and Bars Getting Beer. We'll yeah. be right back after a short message here with Frank Soda. All right. <laughs>